We're stopping again. The engine driver probably ran out of coal. Probably forgot his ration book. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, this froggy steps up, shouts, Vive la France! And leaps out. Then an Englishman. Yeah, yeah. He steps up, shouts, God save the Queen! And now it's back to Marriage Maze, and for those of you who are gentlemen there watchers, here's our surprise guest. Yes, and here's Bert! Hey, folks, it's Ricky from the Red Hey, Bert! Hey, Ricky! I've come for Mr. Majors. We have got nine minutes! Right, Donald and Daryl, get her outside of a van, quick! Douglas, stick the heads in the sack and get them posted back to their widows. And get the addresses right this time! And somebody get all this mess cleared up! This is Ricky James. He is trade union leader. <laughs> nice. Tell me about the title. <laughs> Let's dance. Big. <laughs> if you think I'm going to discuss my latest client's book with you, you are sadly mistaken. However, it does combine the visceral doculiteration of a of a Papa Hemingway with the metaphysics of a cousin Stuckist. <laughs> Yeah! What happened to you? Look at you! You're all older! You're even uglier! Ugh. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to be sick all over you immediately. Lie down! Hang on! Where's all the dolls? Where's the wazir? Well, he was here, but I think you put the wind up him. And then it all depends on you, Fatima. And should this Columbus have a root? Be assured, I shall get my hands on it. Mm, good girl. Well, so long as you're not thinking of inviting him to dinner. Don't worry, I'll do it. Come on. Oh. I don't remember being consulted about this. I can't have my friends to supper. So why is it all right for you? I thought you wanted to use the machine. I realise I'm just a passenger at the moment. But I should like to know when we have other passengers joining us. Get me a table for one o'clock in the Atlantic. I'm having lunch with Marla. Good morning. So get me the latest booking figures on a tour. Get me a fresh shirt, get me some aspirin, get me a bottle of Dettol, and get me the trades. And get me a coffee. And I am in a meeting all morning to absolutely everybody. Except Elton, if he ever calls you back. Your wife's in there. Good morning, room four. This is your personal alarm call. Oh, yes, I know that. I'm just giving you a little advance warning. A little time to wake up before I give you a proper alarm call in two and a half hours. And that's right, exactly when you booked it. Good morning. <laughs>